and the easiest way to get some clout is to piss off some black people and especially black women so i just honestly believe that black people we need to stop taking the bait on this one like whatever <laughs> What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I'm your host, Tunji Taylor Lewis. I uh, just got back from another day of work. Another day of work at my new job. Uh, really enjoying it, man. Really enjoying the meetings that I'm in. I'm really enjoying the fact that I'm in a space where I actually have ideas to contribute. Um, yeah, man, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun being in a in a fun creative space. It's a lot of fun being challenged in new ways. It's a lot of fun because, like, this whole content creation thing, this whole promotional thing, this whole creating shows thing, it really is a puzzle. It's a uh, it's a puzzle that you got to try to figure out. Um, and just like the puzzle, there's like many different ways of achieving the goal. And it's just a matter of finding the one that works for the group of people that you're with. So, yeah, man, having a lot of fun with this entertainment production company. Um, yeah, and uh, I appreciate the love that I've been getting on on that episode when I announced that I got that new job. Comments and the DMs and the text messages from close friends. So thank you guys for that. Um, so, The Lion King is coming out. I believe on Friday. It's been hyped up since 2018. Um, it's really exciting, I guess, for you know the millennials, you know the people of my generation, just because you know as kids we we grew up watching the car cartoon. I'm sure all of us have watched that sh that movie more times than we can remember throughout our lives. Um, I, I truly believe that The Lion King is one of the greatest movies of all time. Like, to have a movie that came out in the 90s and you can still watch it today in 2019 and it still resonates just as much. And as I've gotten older, I've, I've, I've had like new levels of appreciation for it and realized why when I was a kid, um, I enjoyed it so much back then. Um, it, it's a great movie, but, and also I watched uh, Beyonce's uh, new um, music video for the Lion King soundtrack. And as usual, the Queen Bee did what Queen Bee does, man. She was incredible. She was amazing. She's truly one of like the, again, talking about the greatest of all time, man. I think it's Michael number one and Beyonce number two. And then James Brown, number three, you know, the Elvis, number four, and then somebody got to fight for that five spot. But like, you know, greatest entertainers of all time, people who can sing, dance, have presence on stage, um, can do things other than just um, singing and making beautiful records, man. Beyonce is... Beyonce is 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 second to Michael in my opinion, which is which is which is huge, man. She's just a beast. But something I've been thinking a lot about though is how the movie industry right now, all of it is nostalgia, right? I'm not mad at all of it. I enjoyed all of the you know Avengers movies, all of the um, you know the a lot of the Marvel movies. I really enjoyed those. Are all nostalgia from the comic book days. Um, I enjoyed Aladdin, the one that featured Will Smith, enjoyed that one. I'm gonna go see The Lion King this weekend, I'm going to enjoy that. But outside of that man, it just feels like every movie that's coming out now is kind of based on some type of nostalgia and it, it, it gets to the point where it gets really irritating because it's just like, damn, like it's like there's nothing original you guys can come up with like nothing like the only original movies that i'm seeing nowadays are like movies that you know are coming from kevin hart you know dwayne the rock johnson or you know from you know that that black producer uh will packer who came out with that movie um little with um actually no 
Even Will Packer is going the uh, nostalgic route because that movie that came out with Marcy Martin and, um, and uh, uh, um, oh boy, how can I totally blank out on her name? Uh, Issa Rae, uh, Regina, uh, Regina Hall, um, that, that movie where the little girl, where, they, where the grown up turned into the little girl, the little black girl, that was a movie from back in the 80s that um, Tom Hanks did. Uh, that movie was called Big, this movie is called Little, so everything is nostalgia right now. They came out with a freaking Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Um, that was, you know, f finished before it even started, it seemed like, just based on this reception it was getting on social media. Um, everything is nostalgic right now, man, like, you know, and, uh, and I, I, when I see that, it's just because, you know, the movie industry, it's just such a copycat, um, industry, like a lot of industries are, you know, when the industry sees something that works, they all copy it, and, uh, I think just because of the massive success of the Avengers series, you know, with movies like, you know, Black Panther and Captain America and, you know, the Iron Man movies and, you know, th th these movies have like, are the highest grossing movies of all time. Everybody's just looking at that and being like, well, okay, I guess, you know, nostalgia is the game, so we're just gonna do nostalgia movies. Like, I was really, really upset when I saw that they were doing a Toy Story 4. We don't need a Toy Story 4. Toy Story 3 ended perfectly. Like, Andy was too big for the toys. Little girl appreciates the toys more because she's younger. They go through this journey, they almost died. You know what I'm saying? They didn't die. It was a beautiful ending. She gets to everybody goes home. I didn't see Toy Story 4, 4 out of protest because I just felt like, we don't need another one. The only reason you're doing Toy Story 4, it's it's a total money grab. It's a total, okay, it's a total like sort of data search of like, the data shows that everybody's watching nostalgia movies, so let's just pull up all the nostalgia. And, and uh, I guess the reason why I can appreciate, um, I guess the Avengers movies or the Disney movies over some of the other stuff that's being done. It's like there's real effort being put in to pay homage to what we saw before. Like Marvel really, really did the homework and did the work to make those movies, at, to, to make those movies honor the comic books as much as humanly possible. Disney is doing all the work they can to make sure that the, these movies are, are doing um, as much as they possibly can to honor the movies that preceded them. And they're and they're being really smart as far as like how they promote them, who they're bringing in as cast, like you know, bring in Will Smith to be the genie. You know, obviously you can't get Robin Williams. Obviously, there's never gonna be another Robin Williams to play the genie. But somebody and but Will Smith is an entertainer who we love at that magnitude. So that's why you bring him in. Um, bring in Beyonce as Nala um, to sing. Uh, that duet with um, Donald Glover um, in that song, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? That's a power move. I'm sure they had to fork over the money like crazy, but like, I'm sure they just went through the list. Like, what's the most ideal um, person we can get for these roles? And they, it seemed like they stopped at nothing to get the exact right people for the roles in The Lion King. Like they're really, really doing the work to put in. The Little Mermaid, you know, Hallie, Hallie, oh gosh, I've forgotten her last name, but like Hallie, the little black girl um, who got um, The Little Mermaid. I I truly, truly believe that, that they, that, that they um, brought her on because she was the best possible person for the role. I, I believe that if Hallie was any other color other than black, she would have gotten the role. She, it's, it's a great casting selection. She, you know, she is the part, we all know Hallie well enough, you know, based on her YouTube and based on her Instagram to know that she has that, that young spirit 
that um, Ariel had. Obviously, obviously, she has the voice. You know what I mean? Like, and and all the controversy about people saying, "Oh well, Little Mermaid can't be black." Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care about what any of those people have to say. To be quite honest with you, because number one, it's social media, so you know people are out here clout chasing, and the easiest way to get some clout is to piss off some black people, and especially black women. So. I just honestly believe that black people, we need to stop taking the bait on this one, like, whatever. And also, who cares about who's upset with Hallie getting the role of Ariel in The Mer Little Mermaid? Like, she got the role, she got the gig. What are, what are these people gonna do? We're all gonna watch it, we're all gonna support it, it's gonna do great. This is gonna be huge for Hallie's career, good for, like, who cares about people who are actually upset? I don't believe that many people are actually upset because, again, people who are exp expressing it on social media are probably just looking for clout more than anything else. But, anyways, totally digress, but um, that was, again, a great move by Disney. They just looked at what was required for the character of Ariel from The Little Mermaid and they found the best possible person for that role. They didn't look at appearance, they didn't look at race, they didn't look at, you know, um, the thing that would look most similar to the movie that came before. They looked at who could do the character the best. And, uh, oh my gosh, what is this construction? Ugh. Sorry about that, y'all. It's still going, but um, but yeah. So Disney is putting that work in. Marvel is putting that work in, and I just believe that if you're going to do nostalgia, if you're going to do it, you gotta make sure that you're um, doing your due diligence to make sure that the movie or the book or or the whatever that came before it is being. Um, fully incorporated and is being fully respected and, it, and you're going to do the work to make sure that what we felt when we watched it before is what we're going to feel when we watch it again um, yeah that's sort of my spiel on all that good stuff um, I have a feeling that the Lion King movie is gonna be awesome yeah y'all thanks for listening again peace out